Hey there everyone, today we are heading in the world of anime to bring you part 2, of top 10 isekai anime that you must watch, so let's dive straight in. Number 10 Seirei Jensuki When 20-year-old college student Haruto Amakawa dies in a traffic accident, he is reborn in a magical world as a young boy named Ryo, his memories and personality blend with those of Ryo, and he discovers he possesses powerful magical abilities, despite his new life, Haruto's unyielding desire for revenge against the individuals who murdered his mother remains, his path takes a significant turn when he rescues the kidnapped princess of the Bertram Kingdom, which leaves the grateful king to offer him a place at the prestigious Bertram Royal Academy. While excited about the opportunity, Ryo soon faces the harsh reality of being a slum dweller among the Academy's elite, who come from noble families, as he struggles to adapt to the Academy's social dynamics and prove himself academically and magically, Ryo must also continue his quest for justice, balancing his pursuit of vengeance with the challenges of his new environment, he encounters allies and rivals, each impacting his journey as he seeks to uncover the truth about his mother's murder and establish his place in this new world. Number 9 The Dungeon of Black Company after years of dedicated effort to achieve a self-sustaining neat lifestyle, Kinji Ninomiya finally reaches his dream, his idyllic existence is abruptly disrupted when a portal suddenly appears beneath him, whisking him away to a fantastical new world, here, Kinji is forced into labor for a mining company that prioritizes profit over the safety and well-being of its workers, faced with grueling conditions and a corporate system that offers no concern for its employees, Kinji refuses to accept his new reality, determined to regain his financial independence, he starts devising clever schemes to quickly acquire wealth and build valuable connections in this strange world, his journey involves navigating the complexities of this new environment, outsmarting corporate constraints, and striving to once again attain the leisurely life he so deeply desires, will Kinji manage to break free from the constraints of this oppressive world and secure his freedom? Number 8 The Executioner and Her Way of Life Average student Mitsuki Mewtwo finds himself abruptly transported to a fantastical realm, where he is summoned by the king who expects him to possess a remarkable power known as a special concept, however, Mitsuki is quickly cast aside when it's revealed that he lacks such an ability, dejected, he encounters Menu, a priestess who informs him that Japanese people like him, known as lost ones, are believed to always have special concepts, Menu, who belongs to a church dedicated to aiding abandoned lost ones, invites Mitsuki to stay at her church for the night so they can investigate his true potential, as Mitsuki and Menu work together, they discover that his special concept is not only extraordinarily potent but also dangerously unpredictable, as the two delve deeper, Mitsuki starts to suspect that Menu's true intentions might not be as altruistic as they seem, is the church's mission genuinely to help lost ones integrate into this world, or is there a hidden agenda that could put Mitsuki in grave danger? Number 7 My Isekai Life after toiling away in a grueling corporate job, Yuji Sano is granted a second chance when he transmigrates to a fantasy world resembling a game, although he desires a quiet life, he discovers that he has been assigned the title of Monster Tamer, the weakest rank among adventurers, utilizing his new skills, Yuji begins taming slimes and, with their aid, gains magical powers, allowing him to become a sage, a more advanced profession that complements his talents. Despite his newfound strength, the emotional scars from his previous life prevent him from fully embracing his power. As he tries to keep a low profile, Yuji finds it increasingly difficult to conceal his abilities, especially as unforeseen threats emerge that jeopardize the world he now calls home. The mounting dangers force Yuji to confront his past trauma and grapple with the decision of whether to fully unleash his power or continue hiding in the shadows. With his new world at stake, he must balance his desire for a peaceful life with the responsibility of protecting his new home. Number 6 Wise Man's Grandchild In the Kingdom of Earl's Hyde, Merlin Wolford was once regarded as a national hero, hailed for both his power and achievements, preferring a quiet life however, he secludes himself deep in the rural woods, dedicating his time to raising an orphan that he saved. This orphan is Shin, a normal salaryman in modern-day Japan who was reincarnated into Merlin's world while still retaining his past memories. As the years pass, Shin displays unparalleled talent in both magic casting and martial arts, much to Merlin's constant amazement. On his 15th birthday, however, it becomes apparent that Shin only developed his combat skills and nothing else, leaving him with blatant social awkwardness, a lack of common sense, and a middling sense of responsibility. As a result, Shin enrolls in the Kingdom's Magic Academy to hone his skills and mature among other teenagers. However, living a normal life is impossible, as he is established as a local celebrity almost as soon as he arrives. As Shin Wolford adjusts to his high school life in the capital, he makes new friends, learns about the world, and fights off the various forces of evil surrounding him and his city. Number 5 By the Grace of Gods Deep in the forest, far from any human contact, there lives a child named Ryu Matakibayashi, he engages in the rather strange hobby of keeping various types of slimes as pets, furthermore, despite his young age, he has a sturdy physique and good compatibility for magic, all of this is because having endured much hardship in his previous life, three gods grace Ryuma with a second chance to pursue one goal savor the wonders of life, after three years of comfortable solitude pass by, Ryuma meets people who will change his life forever, 
When he encounters and helps some soldiers tend to their wounded comrade, the group convinces him to accompany them to visit the nearby town's ducal family. Ryuma agrees and soon embarks on a journey to explore the vast world beyond his home. As he steps into the bustling town, Ryuma's unique skills and kind heart begin to attract attention, setting the stage for new adventures and challenges. The journey ahead promises not only to expand his horizons but also to test the limits of his newfound life and the connections he makes along the way. Number 4 The Greatest Demon Lord is born as typical nobody. Having reached the pinnacle of human potential, Barbados was so powerful that the rest of humankind began calling him the Demon Lord, both fearing and respecting his overwhelming influence. As a result, he felt alienated from his fellow humans, leading him to desire true companionship, an equal he could call a friend, hoping his fate will change in his next life. Barbados decides to start anew and reincarnates 3,000 years later as Ard Meteor, the son of a seemingly ordinary couple in a rural town. Unfortunately, he realizes that even after weakening himself, his strength still overshadows everyone in this era. Moreover, his lack of social skills bars him from achieving his goal of making friends, but worst of all, the repercussions of suddenly abandoning his former position have begun to bite him back in some of the most unimaginable ways possible. Number 3 The Combatants Will Be Dispatched As a chief operative of the villainous Kisaragi Corporation, Sentuin Roku Go receives orders to help the organization conquer the entire known universe, tasked with infiltrating the Kingdom of Grace, a mission that could change the fate of the world. Roku Go mistakenly believes that his skills as a combatant are superb, fueling his arrogant attitude, to ensure the success of the mission. Alice Kasaragi, an exceptional android with a youthful appearance named after the company itself, is assigned to be Roku Go's travel companion. Upon their arrival at the outskirts of the kingdom, Alice and Roku Go encounter Snow, the commander of the country's royal guard. Snow leads the pair to a broken legendary artifact, and Roku Go seizes the opportunity for a long-awaited promotion at his company and changes the recitation for the sacred ritual to an embarrassing phrase. As punishment, the princess of the kingdom forces Roku Go to become an honorary knight, fulfilling part of his mission. Having infiltrated the kingdom's inner circle, Roku Go must now help his new employer fight against the demon lord's army, all while perpetuating evil deeds as a combatant of the Kasaragi Corporation. Number 2 The Strongest Sage with Weakest Crest At birth, Mages randomly acquire one of the four crests that represent the extent of their magical capability. Equipped with a crest specializing in creation, a man named Gaius reached the ceiling of his potential, becoming known as the world's strongest sage. Despite his overwhelming power, he is unsatisfied with his abilities and desires to possess the mark suitable for close combat. Knowing that a person's crest is unchangeable, Gaius decides to reincarnate far into the future, hoping to alter his fate. Thousands of years later, Gaius is reborn as Matthias Hildesheimer, successfully obtaining his long-coveted crest. However, he is surprised to learn that in these times, magic has vastly waned, and the techniques that were once widely used are now nothing more than just a speck of legend. Moreover, the crest that he painstakingly strived to attain is now considered the weakest, merely dubbed the crest of failure. Nevertheless, Matthias naturally exceeds all expectations, he enrolls into the royal capital's second academy, acing every trial that comes his way, but soon after, Matthias discovers the dark truth behind humanity's downfall into magical mediocrity, demons and endeavors to remedy the consequence of his millennia-long absence once and for all. Number 1 The Fruit of Evolution One day, a man claiming to be a god suddenly hacks a certain school's intercoms, ordering all of its students to team up and prepare to be transported to another world. There, they will be given special skills in the hopes that they become that world's heroes and defeat the demon king that ravages the land. The initial transfer is a success, however Seichi Hiragi, who suffers from his classmates' constant bullying due to his somewhat undesirable appearance, is left behind as no one is willing to be his teammate. Nevertheless, the self-proclaimed god decides to send Seichi to the parallel world and lets him join his peers. Unfortunately, this fateful ordeal causes Seichi to arrive at a location deep in the forest, far not only from his schoolmates but from human civilization as well. Desperately searching for a way to change his predicament, Seichi's miserable days only seem to continue to worsen, yet when all hope seems lost, Seichi discovers a strange fruit, known as the fruit of Evolutio, which may be his first step toward a significantly better future. So that's it for the list. Hope you all found the video interesting, and if you did, then make sure to hit the subscribe button, and like and comment on the video.